everyone, what's going on? Thanks for tuning back in to Relevant Jukebox, and today we're gonna talk about this new Wasted Shirt album, Fungus 2. So Wasted Shirt is a collaboration between singer, songwriter, prolific garage rock pioneer, Ty Siegel, and the drummer of noise rock legends Lightning Bolt, Brian Chippendale. When I saw that this album got released, I was like super excited. Now, I'm not too huge on Ty Siegel, honestly, but there is no denying that he is a very prolific songwriter, almost a song factory releasing album after album with multiple bands and collaborations over the years. And not all of what he releases is gold, but there are times where he can pull out a razor sharp melody. And Lightning Bolt is one of my favorite bands overall, so anything that Brian Chippendale has his hand in, I'm going to be intrigued by. And my mind was racing when I heard that these two were going to be collaborating because the level of aggression that Lightning Bolt's music offers, or maybe that Brian would offer, I thought would bring out the best of Ty Siegel with those razor sharp melodies. Melodies. But <laughs> the way that this album ends up coming together is kind of a mess in my opinion. It just comes off like these two guys just jamming together in a basement somewhere and they're trying a couple different things here and there. And what was surprising to me was that there is a severe lack of hooks and melodies that get woven in here. Now I know hooks and melodies aren't everything for a track, but I think it would have served this album a lot better. And for the end of this record, which is almost half of the release given the length of the closing track, it's just a bunch of instrumental noodling. Which which again, wouldn't have really been a bad thing if that expectation was maybe set earlier on in the record, but the way that it ends with just like three tracks in a row of this, it just kind of feels unfinished. There is some cool spots in the jamming on the last track though, but still not really enough to make up for it, I don't think. But yeah, overall, this kind of disappointed me, unfortunately. There are some cool tones that come through here and there and some really intense spots on this though, but the songwriting just doesn't land on here in my opinion, and the idea of these two collaborating ended up being a lot cooler than the actual results. And with that being said, I'm feeling a five over here on Fungus 2. Those of you looking to collect this on a vinyl press, there is a limited green variant that's listed on Wasted Shirts Bandcamp, so links are gonna be down below if you wanna grab that. And if you listen to this new Wasted Shirt album, what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, I appreciate it if you drop a like down below. And if you want more content from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Peace.